Now that you have your Gmail account set up, it's time to compose your first email. In the left menu pane, click the plus button to compose a new email. There are three main parts to the email that you'll always need to have. Recipients, which are the people that you're sending the email to. A subject, which tells your recipients what the email is about. And the body, which is the message itself. Let's start by adding some recipients. You can type one or more email addresses here. If the person is already in your contacts, you can just start typing their name and it will appear below. Then you can press the Enter key or the Tab key to add the person. You can add a lot of email addresses really quickly this way. Another way to add recipients is to click the word To, and then you can select the contacts that you want. When you're finished, click Select. For the subject, you can just type something brief that describes what the email is about. And in the body field, you can type your message. Now before we send this email, there are some additional things that we can do. Sometimes you may want to add recipients to the CC or BCC fields, which stand for carbon copy and blind carbon copy. Carbon copy is used a lot in the business world, and it basically just lets the person know that they're not the main recipient while still keeping them in the loop. Blind carbon copy is similar, except it hides the recipient's email address from everyone else. For this email, we don't really need to use either of these. You can also attach a file if you want. For this email, we might want to add a flyer that people can print. You'll be able to see the upload progress here, and larger attachments may take a while to upload. And it's nice to include a short note, just to let your recipients know what the attachment is. Finally, we can add various types of formatting to the body of the email. For example, it would be good to format this web address as a link so that people can click on it. I'll select it, and then click the Link button. If you want, you can click Change to change the display text to something different. You can also use these buttons to add other formatting like colors, fonts, and bulleted or numbered lists. Since this email is pretty informal, a little bit of color can help add some personality to it. But in a more serious email, like a job application, it's better to stick with more traditional formatting. The final step is to click Send. Now there's one more thing that I'd like to mention. Many people like to create a signature that will appear at the end of every email that they send. To do this, click the gear icon and select Settings. Then scroll down until you see the signature area. Typically, a signature will include your name and some kind of contact info, like an email address or a phone number. But keep in mind that this will be seen by everybody who gets an email from you, so you may not want to include anything too personal, like a home address. When you're done, scroll to the bottom of the page and click Save Changes. And now, whenever you compose an email, your signature will appear at the end. GCF Global, creating opportunities for a better life.